Hey guys, what's good? Power up boxing here. And uh, I just want to make my prediction for the Canelo Alvarez versus Rocky Fielding fight. Uh, so you got Saul Canelo Alvarez versus Rocky Fielding. And obviously, the, things, the first thing you'll notice at the weigh in, and even before that, the height difference. He's obviously Rocky Fielding is the bigger, taller guy anyway. Uh, I'd say Canelo's pretty big, though. He's uh, bulky, he's stocky. Fielding's taller than him. Better reach, I'm guessing. Um, for some reason on box rec right now, it's not showing his height or his reach, but I assume his reach would be better too. He's over six foot, uh, and Canelo's only like 5'9". And Rocky Fielding, he does have a belt, he has the WBA super middleweight title, uh, and Canelo's challenging him. He obviously has the middleweight belts from Gen Gennady Golovkin, Triple G. So what do I think is going to happen in this fight? Obviously, you notice the size difference. Will that play a role in this? I don't think so. Canelo is a pretty stocky guy. He's not extremely, like obviously 5'9 isn't that big. But he is bulky, and he has boxing skill. And you could say that Rocky Fielding is just a bigger target, to be honest, if his skills can't keep up. Um, and you can, I bet you, you're going to see Canelo going to the body a lot in this fight. Usually when you get a shorter guy, and not only a shorter guy going up against a taller guy, but considering Canelo's style, he likes going to the body. And I think being a... His opponent being a taller, bigger guy, he's going to want to go to the body even more. Body, head, kind of, you work the body, the head will fall. And I think Canelo will knock him out. Uh, TKO, the ref will stop it. And I'm going to I'm gonna say uh, middle to late rounds, body shots will break him down. And maybe a body shot will end it. But uh, if not, I, 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 just, I see a stoppage though. Body shots or not, I see a stoppage, but I'm leaning towards a body shot stoppage just because looking at Rocky Fielding's frame, he's tall and slender. I can see his body looks just looks like a target, and I think Canelo's going to be looking at that as a target and going to the body. So Rocky Fielding, he's got a good record, 27-15 KOs, decent power. He's knocked out a lot of his recent opponents too, uh, undefeated guys recently. He did lose to Callum Smith, his only loss. He got knocked out, but Callum Smith, Smith is the one. He's the super middleweight number one guy right now. He's the best at super middleweight right now. As far as I know, uh, on box rec, rank, box rec has him ranked number one. But like I said, I haven't really followed. Like super middleweight division has been kind of in the back. Like it hasn't been at the forefront lately, so... And like I said, a lot of the UK fighters, I kind of, we kind of don't see their fights as much as we see the American fighters fight, uh, or even like Canadian fighters. We'll see, like Adonis Stevenson. Pray for him, guys. Uh, I haven't, I haven't really looked in how he's doing, but hopefully he is doing better. Um, uh, pray for him if he isn't. Uh, but. Um, you got David Lemieux. So you got some Canadian fighters. I feel like if they're not American or Canadian, we don't, we kind of don't follow the British boxing as much in North America. Unless it's like a fighter like Tyson Fury or Anthony Joshua or Klitschko. Like I know he's from Germany. but uh, Or that's where he lives anyway. So Or Kel Brook. Like I feel like we don't follow like the smaller kind of like like say the George Groves the the Carl uh, Froches we're not really paying attention as much unless they're fighting a big American guy right um, so yeah like Callum Smith he's ranked number one in the division he's undefeated he knocked out the guy that Canelo's fighting Rocky Fielding he's twenty five and 0, 18 KOs Callum Smith is. He's a pretty big guy too for that. He's six three, so that's I think that's on the taller side for that division, a little over average. And he just knocked out George Groves. So I assume this guy is you no, know, he's 
I assume he is pretty good. Though I don't think I've seen him. I've maybe seen him fight once or twice. I forget though. Like I said, I don't. I, I miss some of the British fights, and especially if it's they fight earlier in the day sometimes. So unless they're fighting like an American guy or a Canadian Canadian guy, I don't. Sometimes I miss it, so I don't know as much about the British boxing side, unless it's the like I said, Anthony Joshua, Kell Brooks. Then I, you know, what I'm saying. So, I don't know, he faced Nikki Holskin, Nike Holskin, Eric Skullgland. I don't know any of these guys because they're from Britain, Europe. But all undefeated guys, and Callum Smith is winning. So, anyway, guys, is that a red flag that he's got lost to Callum Smith? Uh, it could be, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know much about Rocky Fielding or Callum Smith. But all I know is I know what Canelo can do. I know Canelo has fought uh, top guys. Like, if you just look at Canelo just came off of two fights with Triple G. Triple G is not only one level above Rocky Fielding, but he's probably two or more levels above Rocky Fielding if I had to. Like I said, I can't make the, I can't fully say that because I haven't seen Rocky Fielding fight, but from what... The general perception is they're looking past, everyone's looking past this guy and I haven't really seen him fight, but I assume uh, that they're looking past him for a reason. And when you have Canelo who just fought the best guy at middleweight, the guy you were supposed to like lose to, and I thought he did lose to Triple G both times, but he was fighting the highest level guy and now he, this is kind of a step down, but he is moving up in division and uh rocky fielding does have a belt he has the wba belt so you can't knock him for that you can't knock canelo for fighting a guy that you might not think is his level but still he's uh he has a he's a champion and he's gonna test the waters at 168 right so i wouldn't expect him to go right to callum smith like like kind of what mikey's doing he's going right to errol spence so mikey didn't have to do that you know what i mean but um, yeah, so I just think Canelo just has such a professional experience against top guys. Like, Liam Smith was undefeated when he fought him. Obviously, he fought Amir Khan, Miguel Cotto, James Kirkland, Eris Landy, Laura. Some people thought he lost that fight. I thought he won that fight, though. Alfred Angulo, Floyd Mayweather, he clearly lost every round to, but a good experience for him. Austin Trout, Shane Mosley. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Like this guy has fought a like Canelo has fought a lot of good guys, and whether you thought he lost to him or not, that experience, and even if you thought he lost to it, even though if you thought he lost to Triple G or Arisani Laura, he still put in a good account of himself. He he showed that he belongs on that level, and that's why I just think he'll be too much for Rocky Fielding, because he's coming off two two fights that were the top guy out there and now he's fighting a guy that like I said is probably going to be two levels below Triple G not just one level but two levels below him so I think it's gonna be a breeze for Canelo probably uh, but we'll find out like I said I don't know much about Rocky Fielding this is just what I'm uh, think is gonna happen and uh, uh, and it seems like everyone else thinks that too um uh, but if let me know in the comments, guys, if you've seen Rocky Fielding, if you know a lot about him, do you give him a chance? Because I haven't done that much research on him. I may be seen him fight before, but I forget, like I said. I don't pay attention to the British boxers as much unless they're fighting, like, unless it's a very, like, high-level fight. Um, or if they're fighting, like, American guy. But, um, yeah, so... Uh, I think Canelo by TKO, middle to late rounds, body shots will break him down. He'll get him out of there. It's going to be similar to Julio, Shivers, she, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. fight, except I think this guy, Rocky Fielding, will put in more effort and will get stopped. I know Chavez didn't get stopped. It's because he didn't really try to win that fight. But I think this guy will try to win, and hopefully he make it, he'll make it a good fight. But uh, yeah, guys, Canelo, TKO, body shots. Uh, I don't think size will be uh, will matter in this fight. Canelo's a high-level guy. He's proved himself against Triple G, even though I didn't think he won. 
he proved that he belongs at that level and uh just the athleticism and the combination punches from canelo is very is excellent so so guys i'll see you in the next video I'll see you after the fight and look forward to seeing uh david lemieux fight too um i don't know the guy he's fighting really though to be honest but i heard david lemieux got hospitalized because he didn't he couldn't make weight or something so i don't know what's going on there but i always like to see david lemieux fight i probably won't make a prediction for that fight because i don't really know that other guy as much and it's not as much it's not like this fight where canelo's stepping up in weight so there's still some risk there so i had to make a video on it even though it might be one-sided but i think lemieux should get the job done but uh yeah stay powered up guys and i'll see you in the next video